All right, so now that we've got the whole thing built out, it's a good idea to come through and test test out your level and see what's going on. So one thing, oh, okay, let's start over. Respawn. Okay, cool, you can just respawn. Okay, cool. So it's a good thing to test out your level and see how everything is working. Like, do these blocking things really work? And if they do, cool, we know how to use them. And also, like, what windows can you jump in and out of? Like, can you jump in the window? The reason why is because you got this one right here. It's like, you want to make sure all the areas are playable. You can definitely aim in that window. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and check out the downstairs. So this is the red squad, of course. Before that, let's look at the outside over here. So our landscape looks good. Let's go downstairs to the blue squad. Okay, downstairs looks cool. Really big. Really, really big. It's a giant map. But if you see the mini map up, up top is showing like all the assets that I put in the game. <clears throat> Alright, so now you're on the blue squad. And the blue squad looks good. Everything over here looks good. Uh, this side of the map looks good. Let's check out this side. Okay, cool. Everything looks good. What we need to do now is just hide those blocking things and um, finish up with the game. All right, so in order to get the material all right, so these things have this red material on them right here. And we don't want that. We want them to be invisible like these right here. So we need to get a material that's invisible. Now, in order to do that, what we can do is create our own material. And that's the cool thing about it. Um, what I've done is I've already created my own material, but I'll make another one. Um, so go in your content browser, right click, and go here to material, and click on material. And we'll call this one transparent all right now double click on that transparent material and you're gonna get this now what you want to do is while this thing is clicked come over here on the left hand side and where it says blend mode change that to translucent now hold the number three on your keyboard and click and you should get this box right here we're going to hook this up to the base color, which you can double click on it and make it white. I'm going to make mine white. It doesn't really matter. You're not going to see it anyways. And then hold the number one and then click. And you're going to get this box. This is a parameter where you can set the value. Or it's a scalar value, really. And then you hook this scalar value into opacity and keep it on zero. And then you save. And this is the preview of our material that we just made. It's invisible. So that's how you make an invisible material. So all you do next is you come up to each one of your blocking materials and you come over here and you find your own material. So ours was called transparent. And you just click like that. And now it's transparent. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to set up some classes so that they have like different stats and different weapons so you can choose whatever class uh, or you get assigned a class when you spawn in so what you have to do is find another device like these little red things they're barriers if you didn't see them in the other video they're in the video I talked about the landscape or the part of the video that I talked about the landscape if it's on this video I don't know because I haven't edited it yet so anyways um, find the device called uh, class um, it's gonna be in the fortnite but it's class designer here we go so here we go here's we need four of these and we're gonna set up them differently so we'll put one over there one close to the building so we know what class that is um, one over here these are going to be invisible in the game so don't worry we'll put one up here and another class over here 
only reason why I'm separating them is so I know, you know, which is which without having to um, click into them. So we're going to set up each one now. So when you click on the class, over here in the options, this is where we can set up all the stuff that we need to set up. So this is what we're about to do. So let's set up this first class here, and we're going to call it the Sapper. That's their name, not mine. Um, class slot one. Grant items on respawn. Uh, no. Max health 100. We don't need them to have shields, but maybe, maybe so. Whatever. 100, 100. Um, gravity very high. All right, so we're going to set the class name to Sapper. We're going to set class identifier to class slot, and then number one, max health to 100, max shields to 100, gravity set it to very high. And this first option up here, I think, grant items on respawn, we want that to be true. Um, let's see if there's any advanced. Um, eliminated player items right here let's turn that to delete bow alright so we've got one class set up here that's the sapper and we can set up a little bit you, know, you can go in and customize this however you want but for me that's gonna be the sapper class alright so we need to set up other the other three classes now and we can do that together so we're gonna call this one the scout and for the class identifier, it'll be class slot, but this time number two. Grant items on respawn, yes. Max health, let's put it at 75. And I think max shield at 50. All right, we're going to put the movement multiplier at 1.2. All right, we're going to keep the gravity at normal. And then we just type in here eliminated players items, and we want those to be deleted boom so now the scout class is set up as well so now we've got the supper the scout let's go over here to the building and set up another class and all we've got to do is do the same thing so first of all you can say eliminate player items we know we want that to be delete all right for this one we're going to call this one the defender class And uh, this is going to be class slot three. Max health for this one's going to be 150. Max shields 150. Movement multiplier 0.8. So this one's slower. Gravity um, very high. So a lot slower. And I think that's, that should be pretty much it. Cool. Again, like I said, you can go through all of these and set these um, options on your own if you wanted to. But for me, I'm just going to leave that alone, and we'll move to the last class here. The last class that we're about to set up, this one, this last one we're going to do is called a Shaman. So Shaman, and it's going to be in class slot 4. And for this one, grant items on respawn. Make sure that's checked. We have to go back and make, I think I missed that on the other two. Max health is 100. Max shield, 75. Um, movement multiplier, 1.1. Gravity high, though. Um, and then also eliminate... There we go. Eliminate player items. Delete. All right, cool. So that's how you set up your classes here. We've got four different classes that when the players spawn into the map, they'll be either one of four of these classes. And the reason why I put them down here is just to show you that they don't have any relevance to our game. They're actually going to be invisible when we start the game. So you don't have to worry about that. We just need them in here to set the classes. So that's what we did, and now we can move on to the next part. So the next step of this is that we have to 
add in the items or register the items for each of these classes so that they have items when they start uh, the game. So if, come down here and you should see an item list right here in the details when you have one of the classes. For me, I have the sapper clicked right now. And you need to press plus sign. And we're going to start adding in some items. So you press plus sign and then you drop this index down. And here you can find your item. Let's add a field hunter crossbow. Oops, if I can spell it, that'll be right. So here it goes. Or the fiend hunter crossbow. Okay, cool. Then you can close that down and you can press the plus sign again to add another item. And we're going to add, um, I think, the mechanic. Mechanical explosive bow. Um, let's just do the third one, L3. We can always change it if it's wrong. All right. So for the next item, we're going to add some slurp juice. I know they got some slurp juice. So we'll give them two slurp juices. There you go. And you can give them any items you want to, guys. This is just, I'm going off to suggestion on the website, that's all. I just think I want to play this map, and then I'll come back and edit it, probably, if it's fun. So, the fourth, or, yeah, so you see how an array, this is an array, it starts with zero. So this is the fourth item in our array, number three. So the fourth item, we're going to add, uh, let's give them a shield bubble. There we go. Cool. And only one. So you can set the quantity in which item. So they have two slurp juices, one bow, another bow. Cool. And that's how you do it. And we need to do that for every one of these different classes. So you can either set your own or follow the example that's on the website. So uh, we'll continue to do the one that's on the website. So for this one, this is our scout. So let's register their items. First thing they need, let's give them Cupid's crossbow. Um, another item, boogie bomb. Yeah. Another item. For this th the third item, we'll give them smoke grenade. And two of them. And for the last item, we'll give them shadow bombs. So open it up. And two of those as well. Cool. Now your scout is set up. All right, so they have two shadow bombs. And now it's time to set up the third class. So let's set up the third class's items over here, which is the defender class and let's give them some items as well so the items we're going to give them all right the first one we're going to give the defender class is the harpoon gun and give them some slurp juice two of them actually all right so we're going to give them some slurp juice times two some stink bombs times two and two shield bubbles. There we go. And then the last one is shield bubble. Oh my gosh. And give them two shield bubbles. All right, these are all the items that the player will be able to use. So the last one we have to set up is our shaman class. And they're also going to have four items. So let's give them four items. Primal stink bow. 
Slurp juice. Chug splash. Jellyfish. What the fuck? Alright. So for the shaman class, let's set up four uh, items. Let's get the primal stink bow. There we go. L3. Um, and then for the second item, we're going to get some slurp juice. Give them two slurp juices. For the third item, some chug splash. Give them six of them. Okay, and then for the fourth item, give them three jellyfish. Uh, now, I, I don't even know what that does, to be honest with you, but I'm just following the tutorial. Anyways, now all of our classes have items registered to them, so when they... Uh, so when the player spawns into those classes, they're going to have those items automatically each time. So make sure you file and save all. And then we can move on to the next step. So the next step, we need to put in a team settings and inventory. So that's another device here under the Fortnite. So open up your content browser down here in the bottom left. And go to Fortnite and type in team... Um, inventory huh it's called team settings and inventory yeah that's it so that we want to place this into our world as well and then we want to set the settings for this so basically on the right hand side is the details and here we're going to set the team name color and all of that stuff right here so you can set up a whole bunch of different things but for us we're gonna say uh, red and blue so this one's gonna be blue and team color is gonna be blue where's regular blue not tripping oh well sky blue grant items on respawn yes Equipped, granted item, yes. So you want that to be the first item right here. So we need to also do this for the red team. So that's how you set up your blue team. Um, I think that's all we need to set up there. And then we need to do another one for the red team. So I'll put it right there. And I'll call this team red. And the team color is going to be red. These colors are weird. Grant items and respawn. Um, Equipped first item. Cool. And since we got all that set up now. The last step that I'm going to do during this video is we need to set up some spawn rooms. So you can either pick some of these rooms that you have in here and close them off, wall them off with a door or whatever. But for me, I'm going to build my spawn rooms right here in the back. This is going to be a great area for them to spawn in and out. Um, and the same on the other side. So just build a room where they can spawn in and out. So that is the goal. So pretty much you get the idea. Just build a spawn room on each side. And then in the next video, we'll talk about how to operate that spawn room. I'll holler at you on the next one. Peace.